Good evening and welcome to News24. This is Marvin Samdani with the top news of the day. 25 more people died due to corona infection in the country. A total of 8,763 people died so far with the disease. This information was given in the press release sent from the health department on Wednesday. In 24 hours, 3,567 people have been identified in corona in the country and a total of 5,80,808 people were identified so far. Health Minister Zahid Malik said at the Secretariat that no decision has been taken regarding a general holiday or lockdown in the country at the moment due to the coronavirus. Meanwhile, around 5 lakh more people were infected with the COVID-19 in one day all over the world. More than 10,000 lives were lost. With this, the total number of cases around the world exceeded 12 pro 49 lakhs. The death toll rose to 27 lakh 48,000. A businessman named Abdul Rashid was shot dead by local Awami League leader Aminul Islam Hannan in broad daylight in Dhaka's Dokkin Khan area. This incident took place in Ainusbak area around 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday. So far, police arrested seven people, including Hannan. They also recovered the two weapons used in the murder. A video captured on a smartphone showed that the local businessman Abdul Rashid was shot dead by Awami League leader Aminul Islam Hannan. Then Hannan left the area, leaving his car behind. Locals came forward to rescue Rashid. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina emphasized on building the necessary infrastructure to ensure maximum benefits of the preferential trade agreement PTA signed between Bangladesh and Bhutan. The Prime Minister of Bhutan, Lote Shering, paid a courtesy call on the Prime Minister on the second day of her three-day visit to Dhaka to attend the Golden Jubilee of Independence and the birth centenary of Bangabundhu. Sheikh Hasina emphasized the issue during the courtesy call on Bhutanese Prime Minister Lote Shering around 11 a.m. on Wednesday. On the other hand, in an official briefing on the visit of the Prime Minister of Bhutan, Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momin said that Bhutan refused to be with the Bangladesh Bhutan India Nepal BBIN initiative in the development of regional connectivity. Home Minister Sadhu Zaman Khan Kamal visited the burnt Rohingya camp in Ukhya Cox's Bazar and spoke to the affected Rohingyas. After the horrific fire at the Balukhali Rohingya camp, about 45,000 Rohingyas lost everything, including their houses. At present, most of them are living in tents and under the open sky. Meanwhile, various government and non-government organizations, including the World Food Programme and the Red Crescent, are providing food aid to the Rohingya since Tuesday noon. Secretary at the Ministry of Disaster Management and Relief, Mohammad Mohsin, said 11 people were killed and 155 injured in the blaze. However, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, gave different figures on the number of people killed in the Rohingya camp fire. The names of the people selected for the field in the first phase of the Union Purishad election would be confirmed soon. According to the schedule of the election commission in the first phase, the election of chairman and members would be held in 300 unions of the country on April 11th. The election campaign has started in the meantime. Candidates would officially enter the field for campaigning after the election commission allocates the symbol on Thursday. BNP is, the, is not participating in this UP election. However, it is learned that many leaders of the party Party took nomination papers separately. In municipal elections as well as union elections, the Commission would take votes in both EVM and ballot. And that's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.